In Informatica Developer, you can use a sorter transformation to sort data. You can sort data in ascending or descending order by a specified sort key. You can configure case-sensitive sorting and specify whether output rows should be distinct. You can also sort data to improve the performance of an aggregator transformation. When an aggregator transformation uses sorted input, the size and use of aggregate caches decreases. In this demo, we'll add a sorter transformation to a mapping to sort data for a downstream aggregator transformation. Then we'll configure the aggregator transformation to use sorted input. Let's open a mapping that aggregates data. This mapping reads sales transaction data from a flat file source, calculates the daily sales amount for each customer, and passes the total daily sales per customer to a flat file target. To calculate the daily sales amount per customer, the aggregator transformation groups data by customer number and transaction date. We can use the Data Viewer view to preview the source data. Click Run to preview the data. The Data Integration Service reads the data and it displays the output in the Data Viewer view. We can see that the data passed to the aggregator transformation is not sorted. Let's add a sorter transformation to this mapping to sort the data for the aggregator transformation. Right-click the Mapping Editor to add a non-reusable transformation to the mapping. Select Add Transformation, select Sorter, and click OK. Enter a name for the transformation. Informatica Naming Convention Guidelines use an SRT prefix. We need to configure the ports for the sorter transformation, but first we need to disconnect the aggregator transformation from the source. To disconnect the aggregator transformation, select the connections and press the delete key. Now we'll position the sorter transformation to better see the data flow. To add ports to the sorter transformation, we select all ports in the source and drag them to the sorter transformation. We can use Control A to select all ports. Now we'll configure the sort key. Because the aggregator transformation groups data by customer number and transaction date, we'll use these columns as the sort key. To configure the sort key, click the Ports tab of the Properties view and enable the Key field for the Customer Number port and then for the Transaction Date port. The Customer Number and Transaction Date ports become key ports. The Data Integration Service sorts first by Customer Number and then by Transaction Date. We'll leave the sort direction set to ascending so that the Data Integration Service sorts the data in ascending order. Now we'll configure the output ports. Select the ports that you want to connect to the aggregator transformation. Hold down the control key to select multiple ports. We need to configure the aggregator transformation to use sorted input. Select the aggregator transformation. Click the Advanced tab of the Properties view and enable the Sorted Input option. We need to verify that our mapping is valid. Right-click the Editor and select Validate. Our mapping is valid, so we'll save the mapping. Now we can select the Sorter Transformation and use the Data Viewer view to preview the sorted data. Click Run to preview the data. The data is now sorted by customer number and transaction date before it's passed to the aggregator transformation. The Developer tool includes a cheat sheet that explains how to sort data in a mapping. Click Help Cheat Sheets and select the cheat sheet called Sort Data in a Mapping or Maplet. That completes this demo. To summarize, we added a sorter transformation to a mapping, we configured the sort key, we configured the aggregator transformation to use sorted input, and we validated and saved the mapping. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, 
email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.